Hi everyone, this is Emma Darcy from Emma G Marketing. I'm a digital marketing strategist. I'm also a business coach, so if you're looking for somebody to help you with your um, business, to look at new opportunities, you know, give me a call. <clears throat> um, okay, well basically today I'm going to talk about um, scheduling. Scheduling is a very important aspect of social media. Um, as we all know, you know, um, social media is really important. It's free to use, the biggest thing being that there is a huge time suck in the amount of time that you need to actually put into it. What I would say is it's very important to actually, you know, have your social media working um, in the background because what it does for you is it creates brand awareness. That's really, really important because as you can see from my picture here, people can see from my profile picture, I have my logo, it's MD Marketing. And then in the cover picture, I have my picture of myself. And basically the reason I have a picture of myself, not because I love myself, but literally because I want people to identify me with being the expert in digital marketing, in social media, in marketing and in business coaching. So the reason I have that title there is Digital Marketing Strategist because that's what I mainly focus on in my business to date. Okay, so I suppose just going back there, um, the reason that you need to be on social media frequently um, or to have posts going out for your business is that it creates brand awareness. When people are thinking of using a marketing person, a plumber, um, a web designer, um, they need to go to jewelers or whatever the case is, they will bring to mind the most recent kind of advertising or advertisement that they have seen. And obviously most people are on social media now, they nowadays because <clears throat> and that would mean that they could see your posts on be it on Instagram on Facebook on Pinterest on LinkedIn or wherever it is that they're um that they're on whatever platforms that they're using so therefore it is really important that you are consistently sending out messages on your social media okay but as we all know as entrepreneurs you know it's it's very difficult to you know meet a client for example and say to them in the middle of the meeting, you know, oh, sorry, I've got to go and paste on or post on Facebook. So I suppose the way around that is really that you schedule your posts. And what I would recommend is even that you schedule your posts for a week, at least, if not longer. Some people would actually even do it for a month. What it does for you is two things. First of all, <clears throat> you are consistently sending out messages to um, the public to your target audience they will see them um you know and also i suppose the thing is as well to be creating value to mix up your posts that you're not doing all the same thing all at the one time the other thing is is it takes away from that constant kind of worry if you like or stress around the fact that you need to post constantly so if you actually create the posts at the end of the week on a sunday night or a monday morning Whenever it is that suits you, you sit down and you literally plan out for a week a theme, preferably, and literally sit down and schedule your posts for a week. What I tend to do as well is either use Hootsuite, which you can see here, um, and Hootsuite is a dashboard whereby I can literally create all my posts for Twitter, you can see here, for LinkedIn, and for Facebook as well, if I so wish. So I can literally send out one post that actually goes to everything. Now, it depends really, I suppose, what my objectives are. So, for example, I, at present, um, I'm waiting for my website um, to be finished. So, I'm kind of holding back at the minute in terms of what I'm posting out on Twitter, on LinkedIn and stuff, because I've created a lot of content for when my website is ready. So, with that in mind, I am focusing really on um, Facebook and to a lesser degree, Twitter and Instagram as well. So, what I've done is I've linked my Facebook to Twitter. So every time I post on Facebook, it's equally going out on Twitter as well. Okay, so just to get cracking, that's just the opening gamut, if you like, in terms of why it's important. So if I want to post something, you can see here, you can create a status, so you can literally write um, something about marketing or whatever it is that you want to write. That's obviously a bit gobbledygook, but you can write whatever you want there, and then you can post it as normal. You can also upload a photograph. Um, you can upload a video, you can create an offer, you can create an event or a milestone as well. You have emoticons here and you can add your location to the post as well. And again, you can add photographs um, to your post. So you've got quite a lot of functionality there in terms of what you're going to post. Now, when you actually do the post, what you do is, for example, if you don't want it to go out initially um, and you do want to schedule for the week, what you do is click the drop down button, hit schedule, and you can see here there's um, a little calendar comes up so you can decide on the date it comes up with today's date so I could decide 
for today, just for example, at 4 p.m. that I want this post to go out. So what I do is I change the time, p.m. or a.m. We have today's date and then schedule. I hit schedule. And so that's one scheduled post to go out at 4 p.m. today. I can see the post. So for example, if I made a mistake, I can go back and I can look and um, I can decide that that is what I want to go out. And I can delete that as well. So I can do that by deleting the post and delete. So just to go back there, you can see there's a little drop down menu there. You can barely see it. You can see I'm just with my mouse there, hit that. You can reschedule it, you can edit it, you can publish now, or you can delete the post. Now, you can, as you can see, I've kind of written gobbledygook, so it doesn't make sense for me to post it. So I'm just going to delete the post. Are you sure? Yes, I am. Okay, so it's very, very simple. <clears throat> I'll go back and do it again. So literally, you either upload a photograph or write a status. So if I write a status, I then go to post, I hit the drop down menu, and you can see there it's schedule post. You can backdate it or you can save the draft if you want to as well, if it was something you're working on. So you literally schedule it. So for example, I could schedule it for tomorrow at this time of 3.50 p.m. I can also change it to a.m. And there you go, you hit schedule. Okay, so quite simple to do. And what I would recommend, as I said, is literally to schedule them for at least a week, if not longer. And honestly, all of my clients, I literally sit down with them and I advise this and most people are like, no, no, I'll just do it for a day, I'll do it for two days, I'll do it for three days. Um, and literally, you know, when I meet them afterwards and when I kind of make them in a way do it for a week, they are so surprised about how help, how much it helps them and that literally what they can do at the end of the day um, or in the middle of the day or whenever suits that, they can literally go back in and check in case anybody's asked a question and they can engage with them from that point. But they know that in the background that there is constantly... Um, posts going out on their behalf for brand awareness for their branch. Okay, well, hope that helps.